What's up everyone, this is Mike at Race City Marine and today I'll be showing you one of our 2019 Super Aeronautique GS22s. If you'd like to come see the boat or schedule a test drive, you can find our contact info in the description below. The GS series of the Nautique line is their multi-sport boat. It can ski, wakeboard, and surf. It has a dry weight of 4,750 pounds. It can hold 15 people. It has a mystic white hull along with the accent and onyx black metal flag cord and main stripe. This boat has mocha brown sea deck along with Sahara sand primary interior with white and black accents and textures. At the back of the boat, we have our Nautique surf system, which is neatly tucked away at the back of the hull. It comes out to the side and down about two or three inches, not very much, so you don't have a huge drag going through the water. That in conjunction with the NCRS, the Nautique configurable running surface, you can really form the wave to exactly how you like it. Moving on to the surf pipe, this comes standard with all Super Air Nautiques. This is going to put all of your exhaust into the water so that it bubbles up behind your rider and so they're not breathing in all of the exhaust fumes. Also, it makes a safer ride and a more enjoyable ride for your family and friends inside the boat. At the rear of the boat, we have two of our lounger seats for when you're hanging out and swimming. We also have our remote head unit in the back so that you don't have to get into the boat to adjust your music. Right here we have our evenly stepped walkthrough that Nautique does very well. And it's all finished with sea deck so that you're not putting any stress on your upholstery. The GS22 has 2,250 pounds of subfloor ballast. So when you open up the compartments, you're not gonna see any ballast bags. So it does have the option for pro ballast, which you can add an additional 700 pounds. For our skiers, we have our ski pylon neatly tucked away here. And with both of our latches open there, we can open up the engine hatch and we can see our PCM V8. It's 409 horsepower, so plenty of power to push a fully loaded boat down the lake. We have one of our lean bags here so that people can watch the riders. Underneath that cushion, we have our trash can as well as our cooler. And you'll see that all the seats are nicely hinged so you don't have to mess with those loose cushions. For when you have that extra person, we have the filler cushion here. That pops into place. Over here we have more room for storage and it goes completely into that back locker so that you can fit skis easily. We have our battery compartment under here. We have another lean back on this side so you can have another person facing that which also turns the passenger seat into more of a love seat. Underneath this seat we have another larger area for storage as well as your 10 inch subwoofer. Also we have our glove box here which is finished with C-Deck, so you can lay stuff on top of there. It also has a clear area here to put your phone to keep it dry. As you can see, it's all gasket sealed, so the water won't be able to get in. And then you also have your JL Audio head unit. At the helm, we have a race-inspired driver's seat with a bolster here if you need that extra space to sit up. It also has a cutout for your legs so that you can swing back and look at your rider or talk to the people in the boat with you. We have a nice armrest here so that the throttle is easily accessible as well as the helm control knob, which can control the screen. You can also do it by just touching it. But we have our home screen, our music, our GoPro connection, our manual ballast settings, all of your courtesy controls and climate switches, your user profiles. And then off to the right, we also have an awareness camera that is mounted on the tower so that you can see the people behind you it will pop up when you go into reverse or go into idle. At the bow of the boat, we have a large lounger area. This filler cushion can be removed to make for a nice walkthrough if it is easier to get into your boat from the front of your dock. And then we also have this, these cushions that can be removed as well for more storage. On the tower, we have two JL Audio 8.8 speakers, which are very loud, plenty for surfing and for wakeboarding as well. On the side of the tower, we have our uh, strapless board racks, which easily swivel in and out. Um, they're also pointed straight up and down so that water doesn't drip inside the boat. On the top of the bimini, we have two surf pockets with a net and a strap to keep them secure, but this will keep your surfboards up and out of the way. To store the bimini and put the tower down, you just remove the pin and support arm on each side and store it away. Fold in each wing of the bimini and remove each knob on the side. That allows the bimini to be pushed up. Next, you unlock each side of the tower by pulling it out and twisting it up. And it is cable assisted, so you don't have to worry about it falling down. If you'd like to come see the boat or schedule a test drive, you can find our contact info in the description below.